One of the things that I really like doing is traveling. And one of the biggest things that always bugs me when I'm traveling is which suitcase do I take with me? If I'm traveling on a long trip, I want to be able to take a suitcase that can carry all of that. And of course, if I'm traveling just for a quick day trip or even a two day weekend trip, I always want to make sure to get the right size suitcase. I don't want to carry multiple suitcases or check in any bags. And this is really where Velo comes in with their three in one expandable suitcase. They provide us a solution that goes from small, which is a carry on suitcase to a medium suitcase, all the way up to a full size suitcase. And it makes it so much easier for us to figure out which one we want, even if we've already traveled. If we've packed it as a small suitcase, I can expand it to a large suitcase when I'm traveling. This is TK and this is my review of the Velo 3-in-1 expandable suitcase. Let's check it out. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos for you on the channel. I'm going to start off by talking about what the Velo suitcase is trying to do for us. The Velo suitcase has the ability of expanding. It goes from a small size, which is typically what we see in a carry-on size. And as you saw that in the introduction, I was able to fit it in the actual frame. And that's the biggest key selling key points about it. Because even at its size, you're able to open it up. You, you still have access to the same configuration, the wheels that go 360, the ability of turning the actual uh, suitcase all around. The long, really large uh, handlebar that we have in here works in any different configuration. What I like about it is, even in its smallest configuration, the arms can actually expand all the way to the top so that you don't have to bend when you're walking around with the suitcase. It's very functional. And expanding it from one size to the other is as easy as pushing the button that's right under that handlebar because that's the expansion mechanism. And it allows us to go to three different sizes. We have the base model, which is considered to be the 16 inch. Typically for most US carriers, this is gonna fit all of the 16 inch requirements, even in the actual testing cases that they have at the gate, this is gonna work perfectly fine. And of course you're able to expand it to the medium size that gives you the ability of using more of a medium suitcase. Now, I'll be honest with you, some airlines will allow you to take that with you as a carry-on. Not everybody will, but for the intention of this video, I'm going to call this a check-in luggage version. And of course, going all the way up to the full size, and that's going to give you the ability of using it as a full-size luggage, meaning that is definitely a checked luggage. You get to the airport, you don't have to worry about it. But more than likely, this is how the scenarios will end up being going for you guys. You'll actually probably leave with either the small and the medium. And then when you're coming back, you found that you've picked up a few souvenirs, a few outfits, things that you pick up just to remember that experience that you did on that trip. And now you need more space and you don't have an extra piece of luggage. Expanding it to the full size allows us to actually make it a much better experience. And of course, still check it in and not have to worry about it. So a lot of that configuration and transformation happens on the go. And it really makes it that you don't have to think about which suitcase is the right one to take with you on this trip. When we talked about it being in a carry-on suitcase, it's going to be at around 16 inches. It goes to a medium 22 inch compact edition. So again, still possible to be able to check in or even take it with you on the plane. When it goes all the way to the 26 inch, which is the large suitcase configuration, that becomes more of a checked in luggage piece of experience. Now, what I like about it is that the experience of switching from small, medium to large is absolutely fantastic. All you have to do from the smaller size, you basically extend the arm, push the button on the center and expand it to the medium size and it will lock by itself. If you want to go straight to the expanded, large all the way to the 20 uh, 26 inch large size keep pushing the button and it will expand all the way to the top and it will lock in its space and that's the biggest configuration that you're able to get to now bringing it back to a small one you do need to know a little bit of a trick there you do need to have it in a big configuration and then hold the handlebar up like meaning pull the suitcase as if you're lifting it off the floor and push the button down again and it will allow you to basically bring it back down Main thing, obviously, you want to make sure is there's no clothes in there because that's how the configuration ends up happening. You don't need, you can't collapse and expand when there is clothes in there because of the dividers that we have in there as well, which they do include. And the interior material is actually very, very nice. Now, the handlebars are made out of ABS and aluminum. The wheels are ABS and rubber. And they go 360, so that nice little spinning there. The material, material inside, as far as the dividers, uh, the packing sets, as well as the actual just general, they're calling it peach skin velvet, but it definitely feels very nice. And of course, uh, the weight overall is about at 10 well 10.3 pounds uh, when the suitcase is empty one of the things I really like about it is, God forbid there's any kind of splash of water or whatever, there is some water resistant because it's a hard shell on the outside. Uh, there is a security or a TSA lock here that we have that it basically provides you the protection so you don't have to A, buy a lock. It's actually built in and it's on the side of the actual suitcase. And one of the really nice things about it is, it, again, because it sits where it is on the top part of the suitcase, it expands and it contracts with the suitcase in the right configuration. You just have to align the bottom zipper to match into it and of course lock it and at that point you'll be good. 
Uh, what I like about this is the configuration works for almost everybody. If we're talking about a business person going for a day trip or a weekend trip, this works perfectly. You can go with the small size, start off with uh, just basically you know, your laptop, your, your clothes and everything that you need for a day trip and then go with that. And then if let's say you do pick up some material from that, you come back and you can expand it to a medium size or even go full size on that. And going with your friends to Vegas and having a fun for a weekend or so, and you're not necessarily wanting to take the larger version of this, you could technically go with the medium size or even the small one and expand it to your needs. This takes the guessing out of the entire equation. If you know you're going to be packing uh, like a long trip, this will work with you. Just go to the full size and then check it in. You not have to worry about it. Now, one thing I will say, this is not a smart suitcase. There is no batteries. There's nothing to worry about it. The shell is water resistant. It does have some nice durability in there. It's a hard shell and it is not that heavy when it's empty. Of course, the weight will go up, but just keep in mind that the weight of the suitcase itself is about 10 pounds. So when we talk about the maximum of 50, which most airlines will start giving us, uh, you have that 40 pounds worth of weight. And again, uh, if you have extra weight or allowance for that, you should be able to be able to do that. Now, of course, conversely, if you want to be able to just say, take something out of it to carry it with you, and make the suitcase smaller, this makes it even more functional, especially when you have to repack at the airport. It works both ways. It goes longer for the one you want. And if you don't need the space, you want to minimize it and maybe take it as a carry-on, this will also work for you. And I think one of the main things that I really like about it is the large capacity. When you're in the smallest configuration, you're able to put basically a 10.6 gallon capacity. It goes up to 14.8 gallon capacity and all the way up to 19 gallons of capacity. Again, I'm trying to give you that somewhat of a, a measurement reference for the inside part of the suitcase. The shell itself is polycarbonate, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not uh, going to damage very easily, but it will definitely be more, uh, I will say, basically bump proof from some of the other options that we have. But the biggest thing I'll probably say is the ability of also kind of creating designs around that because of the expandability. Uh, the company, when they reached out to me, they showed me some pictures of some creative options in there, what people are able to do uh, and actually be able to basically design, uh, put some kind of a design on the outer shell when it's collapsed. And as you expand it, the design evolves into the bigger size. So there's some innovation and creativity options that you're able to do with it. Now, if you're thinking about buying a suitcase and you're thinking about basically figuring out what's the right size for you, this is where the Velo 3-in-1 matches it right away. It matches all three sizes at the same time. You can keep it in whatever configuration you want. You don't actually have to keep expanding it and, and bringing it down. But the right size will always be with you wherever you are and whenever you need it. And I think that's the biggest selling point for this. It'll match basically, you know, for people traveling for business, for leisure, with family, hanging out with friends, or even just traveling by themselves, exploring a new area. That makes it even more functional because you can go with less things and expand if you do pick up some stuff and if you do need more space on the way back. Uh, at the end of the day, what you're getting here is a transformable, adaptable suitcase to your needs. It's safe. It has a built-in TSA lock. It has some water resistance into it. Spins 360, a very nice long handlebar that allows us to actually walk with it in whichever configuration it's in, either small, medium, or large. And it has a nice, decent capacity in there with some dividers for organization. I think that's the other thing that they did here. They gave us the ability of not only making it so that it expands to what you need, but it also expands to the functionalities that you need. Now, for me, as I showed you guys with the packing experiences there, as we go from small, medium to large, it's able to adapt. And it, of course, still has more room. I actually wasn't packing it to the full extent, but it still gave us that experience and it looks really, really nice. My hope is that this made sense to you. If you're looking for a piece of luggage or a carry-on luggage or medium-sized suitcase or even a full-size suitcase, that the Velo 3-in-1 makes sense to you and, of course, meets your needs. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Does this make sense to you guys as a suitcase for travel, the all-in-one, uh, kind of like uh, making it so that you can just go on that trip without having to worry? And, of course, uh, making it so that you can bring back some of those memories, again, without having to worry. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video.